Hi guys, welcome back to part four of our packing to a trip video. And we've spoken a lot about the big items, the main items, and now we're gonna get into the little ones. And this is probably the toughest part because there's so many little things that you have to consider. Um, and again, the quantities and maybe some types of items depend on the size of your family or the size of the group that you're going with as well as how many days you're going for. So to begin, first is first, I always grab some bounty. So some paper towels, we use these a lot, whether we're on vacation or at home. So um, I will grab my uh, paper towels. And what I do is I put it into the bag and then I mark off on the piece of paper that I'm taking bounty. The reason I mark everything off is because I don't pack in one day I have to make sure I have everything, so I write everything down, and then I can come back to it and see, do I have it in there or do I not? If I thought of an item uh, that I needed and I still didn't either purchase it or it's something in, uh, is still in the wash, I mark it down and I put a minus next to it to know that I have to come back to it and put it in later. So, again, first I have my bounty, uh, usually a roll or two. Um, if you're going to a place where there are stores nearby, you don't have to take uh, many because then you you know you'll be able to buy. So you'll have something to begin with, so you don't so you're not running to the store the minute that you get there. But if you need more, you'll be able to purchase more, so you're not carrying many things. Okay, next um, we need our toilet paper. If you're going to a hotel, you will have toilet paper. You will probably also have bounty, but I always take extras and I always take the better kind because it's more absorbent. Um, so what I do with toilet paper, I take a roll or however many I need and I just put it in a plastic bag because I don't want to take this whole thing and I still want to keep it clean. So I take a plastic bag, put it in, put it in the bag. Okay, so moving along, I have some facial tissue. That's always a good idea. So I'm going to put that into the bag. Then I have some napkins. Um, I like to take napkins uh, along because then you're not overusing on your bounty. So we're going to take that. Uh, moving into items for food, kitchen. Uh, we always need to have some plates. So I have a pack of plates. Take into consideration that you're going to be using it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So, um, you know, take as many as you need. If you're going to be using uh, little bowls, if you need something for like cereal for the kids or uh, perhaps you're making soups if you're going camping. So uh, you would take soup bowls as well. Then we have some hot cups and cold cups. This is always a good idea. Um, and what I take with me pretty much all the time is a Sharpie. I like to label the cups uh, because if you step away from the table, the kids go running and then they come back to the table and say, you know, which is my cup, which is your cup. So you avoid uh, confusion later on. <laughs> okay, moving along to utensils. So I have forks, uh, spoons, and knives here. Then I also take uh, table covers. So plastic table covers. So one is if you're having a like a picnic table outside you'll be able to put this on or if you're going to be staying in a hotel room and you just want to cover the table so it's just cleaner after covid started uh if we go to a hotel room we try to wipe uh, all the surfaces because kids tend to be touching everything um so this would be one less place that you would need to wipe um, on that note i always take some lysol wipes with me and um, regular wet ones as well. Okay, moving along nicely. So I like to take some garbage bags with me. Um, obviously for camping, it's needed. Uh, if I go to hotel rooms, I take it anyway uh, because what they provide is a tiny little garbage can. And since I do a lot of cooking uh, on my trips, I need the bigger ones. So I will take a few, as many as I need, I guess one per day and put it in a baggie and put inside my bag. Okay, moving along further. So next up, we have some dish soap. Um, again, in the hotel, it's usually provided. 
Uh, these are actually from the hotel, but if you're going camping, you're not going to have this. And if you're planning on grilling or cooking or doing something like that, you will need this along with a sponge. So this is what we're taking. What else? Let's see. Hand soap. Nice. Have to have that one. Um, foil. I love taking foil with me because I uh, pack either sandwiches to go or other snacks um, either in a hotel room or at camping this is a good idea uh, if you are going camping and you're going to be grilling you, you may want to cover trays with food uh, to keep the warmth if you don't have tray covers um, so this has come in handy many times if you are grilling or making marshmallows or making a fire grab this along I think we uh, touched up on this one in the previous video and on the same topic of grilling I love these baking mats these are copper uh, mats if you're using somebody else's grill especially meaning whatever is provided at the campsite uh, just you know put these over everything is clean and you can put your meat directly on here so for grilling, I like to take these along. Ziploc baggies have uh, come in handy many times. If you have some leftovers or uh, that same sandwich so it doesn't unwrap from the foil. Love taking Ziplocs with me. Um, I don't need the whole box, so I'm just going to take it into a bag. And um, optional, you can probably buy this at the hotel. We actually bought this at the hotel, but if you have these... Uh, this is laundry detergent if you're going to the hotel. If you're going camping, you're not going to be needing this. Okay, what else I like to do is stuff little water bottles into each bag that I'm taking along. I like to do this because in the most unexpected moments, uh, somebody always wants to drink. You know, you're on vacation, it's hot, you're running around. And um, if you have it in each bag, it's very handy at all times. You don't have to go searching for it. Uh, we, of course, get uh, separate water bottles as well, but this is just something that um, I found useful having in uh, each of my bags for convenience purposes. Okay, so I've sealed up the previous bag and now we're moving on or actually continuing with the kitchen items and we don't have many, many more. We just have things that you'll be taking to actually prepare the food. So, for instance, uh, this is a go-to for us at any trip um we do toast or uh, waffles uh, in the morning so this is a must-have and as long as you have electricity you'll be able to use it camping or not this is something that i always take along so we have our toaster if i am traveling where there is no stove i would take something like this I take this guy along with me, so it's just a, a, a little burner, a little uh, stovetop uh, portable, which I'm able to cook my food on, and um, you're basically not tied to, for instance, taking a room uh, that has a full kitchen in it. So we've cooked full meals on this one, <laughs> and we've heated stuff as well. If we didn't have a microwave in the room, uh, I was able to heat up uh, my food on this one as well. I always make sure I have a pot and a pan, as well as some spatulas, a mixing spoon, uh, and a knife. So this is basically the extent uh, of uh, equipment that I take along with me. Uh, if you're going uh, camping, uh, people took their little grills, people took uh, things to make barbecue on. so. I've never actually taken that along because uh, when something like that was involved, we went on multiple family trips and uh, somebody had it already. So, oh, last but not least, we always take a teapot as well. And I'm going to put that on my list with a minus because I don't have a separate one. Uh, we just take it last minute into the bag before we go. For the pot and pan, I take one lid. Uh, just to save some space um, and use it for both. Okay, so this is pretty much my list. We have the toaster, we have the hot plate, we have the pan, the pot, the lid, 
the spatula, the mixing spoon, the knife, teapot with a minus, something that we're, we would be taking last minute. And um, I don't have foil trays here. It's uh, a good idea to take foil trays because once the food is cooked, for example, your burger meat or uh, shish kebab, you can put it onto uh, the foil trays, cover it with a lid, and you would be keeping your food nice and warm. Okay, so this concludes our part four. We have a little bit more to go. Uh, stay with us and join us for part five coming soon.